Yo, what's going on out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another money glitch video. It's actually gift cards to friends, but I'm going to show you the dopest method so that you can do this back to back to back and you can fill up garages easily with this, okay? Obviously, you can give cars, you know, you can give modded cars to friends. Uh, you know, you can do whatever with this glitch, but I am going to go through the first thing that you guys need to know first of all let's get the founders out of the way you got two to facile france one of the methods here i've been using for a while since like last friday i think um freight train also streamed it so you know what shout out to him as well shout out to all of us who find glitches and post glitches you know to the whole gta community but you guys need to know this no other youtuber has gone in depth like i'm about to right now if you're using gift cards to friends as a money glitch the only way to keep clean plates and to not have your plates be gone, to not have uh, plate options for the cars that you are given, to not become a dirty player, this is what you must do. You only have one option. But you, before you start trading with your friend, both of you guys make the same custom plate. Just start fresh, okay? Just say that's it. Say you want to make a plate that says fresh. Both of you make that plate, and whoever's giving the first retro, put fresh on that plate you know put that fresh plate on that retro and that is what you're gonna go ahead and start giving your friend and you guys can give each other retros back to back you know back and forth and that car will always remain clean and all of your dupes will always remain clean that is the only way to not become a dirty player and to not get dupe detected okay so as you can see right here i have the clean plate right here all right so you see that roll easy plate i'm gonna by mistake i'm gonna throw a sticky at it but that roll easy plate me and my friend both have okay they're it's both in our in our ifruit accounts it will register as our own plate when we give it to each other back and forth okay that's the way to do it all right so what you need is a facility make sure the facility is full of rhas or fagios you obviously need a friend a retro to give or any modded vehicle okay I'm going to show you three methods, all right, three methods. This first one is the best one you can possibly do, and then I'll show you two methods to get glitched out solo, all right, but this first one is two-player, and it's also the fastest, believe it or not, I promise you, okay? So grab any bike that you got, go ahead and go up to your facility, get the facility fuller, open up your Xbox dashboard or PlayStation dashboard, close it up, then go over to this side of the, uh, the facility. Basically, you're waiting to get that alert again. Now, behind this alert, what's gonna happen is you tell your friend, hey, I'm on the alert. What your friend is gonna do is hold, the, hold Y or triangle, he's gonna pull you off. The second he gets really close to you, uh, tell your friend that he needs to say now, and then that's when you accept that alert. If done correctly, you will accept that alert before you hit the ground and the bike will disappear, all right? That is how you know you've hit the glitch. Go ahead and take the easy way out so that you don't get all glitched out driving the car inside the facility. And there you go. You are perfectly glitched out and you can go ahead and drive whatever vehicle you want that's not yours into your uh, facility. So what I do to make it quicker, just go pick up your friend. All right. So right now my friend is picking me up. This is the car that he is giving me. So I'm the receiver in this uh, in this scenario at the moment. He's giving me this car. Uh, I've gotten glitched out. He's helped me super fast, super quick. No need to call, you know, mechanics or have cooldown times or none of that. Now I can go ahead and go over here. He's going to get out of the car so that I get sucked right into my uh, facility. I should get the facility full alert, accept it, and there we go. I'm driving this car in just like that, nice and easy. All right, that is what you want to see, guys. That is the fastest method. I'll show you what it looks like on the other end, but check it out just so you guys can finish, you know, this part of this uh, this glitch. You go ahead and you overwrite one of your Fagios RH8s. I use Sanchez's just because. So there you go. I overwrote the car. Now that car cannot be driven out or anything. That car will be bricked until you restart the game or swap characters. Just so you guys know. But that is clean because we both have the same plate. Now check it out. I'm going to give him this car because he gave me this car previously. And look at it. It has a roll easy plate. We both have the roll easy plate in our iFruits. So this car will always remain clean. All the dupes we get will always be clean because of that fact okay that is what you must do guys and give cars to friends you both must have the same exact plate in your iFruit and that's the kind of car you want to give to each other the one with that plate so my friend is doing that glitched out on the oppressor you know on any bike really works with any bike but uh has can't be in the facility so he got glitched out he's over there waiting he's gonna be on the alert all right he's gonna go ahead and tell me that he's on the alert i'm gonna hold y or triangle walk up to him and i'm gonna say now once pretty much right there 
All right, so I say now he accepts that alert. If done correctly, the bike will disappear and he goes ahead and takes the easy way out. And then like you saw on the other end, I'm just gonna go ahead and you know pick him up. And when I pick him up, I'm just gonna bring him in this car, drive back to the facility, and then he will be able to take this car in. Now you can also use this to take you know vehicles from other people. The solo method would probably be better for like stealing other players' personal vehicles, but this method is the best if you have one friend and you guys just want to go back to back to back giving each other cars. This is the way to do it. Give each other like two cars and then you know go ahead and switch turns. I would recommend that because of mechanic cooldown times. So give each other the same car back to back, you know, two times. So like I said, I walked out of there, my friend slid over to the driver's seat, and boom, he got my car. Remember, this is a duplication glitch. My car duplicates, and my original car spawns back on the map, all right, once he has that one fully inside his facility. So now for the solo methods to get glitched out. All right, the solo methods are right over here. What you want to do is get a Deluxo. This is the first one. Now, you want to drive up to your facility. Your friend doesn't need to help you to get glitched out right now. He just needs to literally pull the car up, all right? So get the facility full alert. Go ahead and open up your dashboard and close it now that has gone away so what you do now is you want to drive to the side just like this of the facility and get decent speed you don't want to go too quick go over it like that you'll get the facility full alert count a few seconds you want yourself to literally be away from the facility when you accept the alert just like that i accepted the alert when i knew i wasn't over the facility anymore and i took the easy way out and just like that other way where you were being pulled off that is a way to get glitched out solo. The problem with this method is that obviously you need to keep calling up your mechanic to bring your Deluxo because it can't come from the facility. So that's the downside, but that is a way to get glitched out solo if you guys don't have mics or it's a little difficult to communicate, okay? That is a method that you can do. Now, what you also can do is you can do this solo method. There are two solo methods that you can do at the moment. So I went ahead and got any bike. Uh, make sure it's not the oppressor. I'd recommend getting any other sort of bike. So I'm going to go ahead and get the facility full alert just like that. Now I got the facility full alert, open up and close my dashboard. Go ahead and get some proximity mines. And what you want to do, a lot of people have problems with this, but it is another method to get glitched out solo. So that's why I'm including it. Now, throw the mines just about right there a little ways away. I throw the two mines, uh, you know, a good distance from each other just in case. It usually helps when I throw two mines. Now you want to run into those mines, accept the alert, and then it will kill you just like that. So if done correctly, you will see at the top left, you won't see that your personal vehicle was destroyed. So you see at the top left, usually it says, oh, your personal vehicle was destroyed, call Moore's Mutual. If it doesn't say that, you know you successfully hit the glitch. You want to be able to actually trigger those mines, get the alert, accept it, and then have them blow you up. So if done correctly, you should go ahead and be able to just, you know, hop into your friend's vehicle and drive it into your facility, just like that. You'll get the facility full alert, accept it, and there you go, you will be sucked in, okay? So right there, guys, those are three methods. Uh, the most important thing you must take away from this are the custom plates. A lot of YouTubers, including myself, were just saying before, just change the custom plate after, you know, even if you don't have that in your iFruit. Doesn't work that way. Your first car will be clean that you get from them if, if that plate isn't in your iFruit. The second car you take in, no matter what happens, that one will be dirty and all the rest will be dirty after that and you won't be able to sell those, okay? You can sell them, but you'll get dupe detected, all right? That easy. So go ahead and replace over uh, one of your Fagios, you know, RH8, in my case, a Sanchez, and then there you go. I have gotten two clean duplicates, you know, from my friend. You can do this back to back, guys. I was using this to build two accounts on Xbox. Trust me, not the solo methods, the two player method that I used in the beginning of the video, pulling your friend off the bike. That is by far the quickest method, all right? Get that timing down, and you guys can hit that every time. BMX and I were hitting that every two minutes. He was giving me uh, cars on my new account. Okay, I'm telling you, it's mad easy. So what you need to take away from this, you have the super fast uh, you know, two player method that I showed in the beginning of the video. That is the most efficient method if you guys are just trading cars or using this as a money glitch, especially as a money glitch. That is the most efficient method. Now, if you guys don't have communication or you know some mic uh, problems or anything like that, that is when you might be able to go to the solo methods. Now, the bike method with the proxy mines is kind of difficult to get the timing down. I would recommend the Deluxo method. Not everybody has one, but if you do have a Deluxo, I recommend putting that in your MOC so that at least it'll be right there in your MOC. You can leave it outside. If you don't have an Avenger in your, uh, your, you know, your facility, then you can easily just leave your Avenger outside and keep going in and out and grabbing the Deluxo to get glitched out by yourself. Okay, 
So those are all the methods, guys. Those are That's all the information I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the Roll Easy channel if you're brand new and you've never seen one of my videos before. Just slap that subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and turn post notifications on. Drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We are only like four or 500 subs away. Let's keep it going strong, guys. Peace out and have a great day.